Welcome to Wealth in Your Sleep. My name is Wes. I help entrepreneurs fast track your success so you don't have to make all the mistakes that many people do when they first start out. This is going to be another video added to my Get Response playlist. So if you haven't watched any of those videos, I will link it at the top of this video. This video is going to be specifically about linking subdomains to your landing page. So when people go to that subdomain, it is exactly that subdomain. It's not just a redirect. Okay. Now I I found this more useful than linking your domain to get response. Okay, when you link when you when you change your name servers to get response, you lose that whole domain domain. So if you wanted to build a website with that domain later, uh, you don't have that option. Okay, so it's really easy to do, and there's two ways to do it with Namecheap. If you don't have a GetResponse account, I will link it down in the description. Create a free account, free for life. Um, and if you, it's an all in one marketing platform. You can build landing pages, websites, create email autoresponders, and send out daily email marketing newsletters. Okay. It's a program that's going to be around for a long time, so I highly recommend recommend you build your capture pages, your landing pages within GetResponse and not use these third-party capture page vendors because they come and they go, and you don't want to be caught with your pants down when they decide to pack up and move or change or get hacked, okay? So... Make your own landing pages, link your own domains, and you will be set for a long time. Okay, let me show you an example that I just did. So this is from an offer that I promote, which could be on tomorrow, but I really love this capture page. So I duplicated it and made it my own. I, I added a little bit to it. Um, as you can see, I added a favicon um, right up here in the tab. And as well as um, I added a little bit below here, but it's the same color scheme. And I also added this. This is a good feature. So it lets people know that the very next step is going to take them to exactly where they want to go. Okay. And then this will link directly to your list. So there's no list linking to a third party um, capture page. It's all in house. Okay, except for your domain. That's that's outhouse. That's that's at Namecheap. And if you don't have a Namecheap subdomain, I recommend going down in the description, clicking the link, get a domain and, and a professional email. Don't worry about getting any premium add-ons. Just get going, keep the overhead low so that way you can start promoting your products and services. Okay? So I'll show you two two ways to link your domains to get response, one for non-premium uh, non premium hosting and one for premium hosting. All right, let's get to it. So first, log into your get response, come up here to your settings and click manage account. After you click manage account, come down to landing page domains. Then you'll wanna click add a, domo add a domain. So add a subdomain like maybe register, or learn more or info, whatever you want to do, and then add your domain in this second box. Okay. And then just click add domain and then it'll be gray and underneath it will, it'll say waiting. So the next step you need to do is log into your Namecheap account. So when you log in, you'll be um, at your dash. I'm sorry, this isn't the dashboard. Let me go to the dashboard. Um, where to go? Where's my dashboard? Sorry about that. All right, here's my dashboard. So this is what it looks like when you first log in. You'll have all your domains right here. So just go to, this is for non-premium hosting. So just come over here to manage, click manage, and it'll take you here. Okay. Once you click when, then you'll want to come over here to advanced DNS right here at the top menu, click advanced DNS. And then you'll want to add a C name record. So click this little red plus sign right here. And then this will pop up 
and you'll want to come down here to C name record and then you'll put your subdomain that you put in get response so put um, whatever you made your subdomain and then this this next part is going to be the same for every single account every single subdomain it, it, it just it's how you're going to link it to your landing page so put squeeze.gra.com and then you'll come over here and click this green check bo check box now this could take up to 24 hours and then after after you've done done this step you'll want to go back over here to your dashboard and then you'll want to click tools and you'll go to your landing pages okay your landing pages uh, here I'll just do that real quick landing pages and then you're gonna to want to click the three dots on the very right side of the landing page that you want to assign that subdomain and then you'll click edit settings and then once you're in the settings right here where it says landing page URL settings where it says assign your domain go ahead and select that domain that you wanted to add to that landing page okay and make sure it's linked to the right list if you have an autoresponder sequence set up make sure that it's checked I personally don't like confirmed opt-in so I don't ever check that and then make sure you have it redirecting to a sales page of some sort or the product offer and then click publish okay like I said that could take up to 24 hours and then you should be set and then it'll be just like mine okay so however you designed your page uh, your see it's a secure website they install their own SSL certificate you're good to go so when people opt in it's directly to your list and if there's a follow-up sequence they'll get regular emails and everything is in-house you're, you're getting all all the bang for the buck okay now if you do have premium hosting it's gonna be just slightly different you just come over here to hosting list okay hosting list and click that and then you'll want to come over here to go to cPanel okay so once you're in cPanel you're gonna to want to scroll down to where it says domains and you're gonna to want to click the zone editor okay and once you click the zone editor here let me go back it'll look like this you'll have your domains right here now you have two options from here you can just click the CNAME record which is conveniently right there and then all you would do is um, you would put your your subdomain with your domain all all there okay and then you would put squeeze.gra.com like I said it's gonna be the same for every single domain so if you link five domains to five landing pages it's all going to be squeeze.gr8.com okay and then you just click add CNAME record okay and then another option if if you don't like that method is you could just come over here to manage so make sure you click manage on the domain that you decide to link to your landing page and then you would just come right here to add record um, put the subdomain in that you would like to link to your landing page and what I usually do is I'll just put that and then I'll just come over here in between and then it auto fills the rest of your domain in there so you don't have to type it out and then you would just change the type to CNAME and then you would just put squeeze.gr8.com in here and then just click add record okay and like I said it could take up to 24 hours so that's it that's all it takes you link your domain directly to your landing page and um, if if the offer comes and goes then it's really easy you just go into the settings and then change out the link to a different offer okay you can use the same landing page for any offer you want if you're marketing um, if you're promoting marketing programs okay and then um, I'll give you a bonus tool I'll, I'll link a bonus tool that I use. I use this color pick eyedropper. 
for my color coding. So if I'm trying to copy, you know, this color scheme, I just come up here and I click this little picker. And as you can see, I can come in here and click it. And then it generates a little code and you can just right click on that, click copy. And then you would just paste it in the, the text color when you're building your landing page. So I'll link that down in the description. Um, it's quite convenient. I use it every single day. And then, um, and then, yeah. So I hope this video helps. Please like, please share it to other people. Please subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can see all my videos coming out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you and I'll see you next time.